Hello. Teacher Dawn here. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about animals with web feet. What's web feet? Usually it's like when they have a hand like this and they have skin in between their fingers or claws. Yeah, like a duck. And web feet with a duck can help them to swim a lot better. So let's begin. This is ages four, three to eight. So, how do we how do we talk about ducks? Well, let's start from the beginning. Ducklings hatch just like chickens. They don't fly yet because their wings aren't ready yet. They're too little. So how will they get to the pond? Hmm. A picture of a duck. Yeah, they're just hatching. See those cute little ducklings? They hatch just like chickens do. Mm -hmm. But they're not able to fly like baby chickens either. So how do they get to the pond? Hmm. They waddle to the pond. They go with their mom. See, they go right with their mom and they kind of go right next to her, kind of waddling. They walk because they can't fly yet. So, once they get to the pond, they made it across, they sometimes have to cross streets. Well, these things, Ducklings, they made it across the street. No problems. So they keep going. Keep going, ducklings. You can do it. They made it across the street. Yay! But once they got across the street, they go, got to the pond. And did you know that ducklings, even though they can't fly yet, they already know how to swim. So they jump into the water with their mom and they follow her. They already know how to swim when they're born. Do you know how to swim? Did you know how to swim when you were born? Probably not. Ducklings are already born knowing how to swim. So once they're in the pond, they like to find bugs and plants. Yeah, ducks eat bugs and plants. It's a great place for a duckling because they can fill their tummy with all the plant food and all the bugs that are in the water. See? Look, at, look at that little duckling. He's eating bugs in the water and plants. But they like it. Yeah. Sometimes the daddy duck is waiting in the pond too for them. Daddies are called mallards and their head is green. Can you tell the mom mallard from the dad mallard? Quack, quack. Which one is the daddy duck? Remember, they have green heads. Those are the daddy ducks. And then when their oh, ducks are bigger, they're called mallards. Yeah, mallards. So you could call them ducklings when they're little and mallards when they're really big. Right. So let's look at the picture back here. What do we have? We have a chimpanzee, a frog, a bird, a duck, a lizard, a bird, another bird? Hmm. I think this one is more like a seagull kind of bird. Yeah. And this is a platypus. Which animal has web feet? Hmm. 
is a chimpanzee? No. What about the frog? Look at his feet right here. Yeah, frogs have web feet. What about the seagull? Look at the feet, if you can see it. Seagulls have web feet. Yeah, they have web feet. We already know that the ducks have web feet because we just did a story on that part. So ducks have web feet. They're good swimmers too. What about the lizard? No. They have long fingers. They're used to being on the land, not the water. What about the platypus? Yeah, platypus has long or has web feet because they like to swim in the water too. What about the bird? Oh, birds aren't swimmers. They fly. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson on uh, animals with web feet. Until next time, have a good day. Enjoy. Yay!